Wednesday night, Jim's off. I'm Rob Jennings. The big story in Action News is the multi-alarm fire that turned a $5 million, 22,000 square foot mansion into charred embers. The flames erupted around 2.30 inside the French Chateau on South Ithan Avenue in Radnor Township, right down the road from Villanova's campus, and it burned for the rest of the afternoon. Kenneth Moten has been covering this story for the whole time for us. A couple of firefighters were hurt there. Kenneth, how are they doing? Rob, one firefighter suffered a minor burn, the other a minor injury to his back, so they will be okay. About 20 minutes ago, Ithan Avenue reopened and crews cleared the scene. We've also learned this house had an alarm and sprinkler system to help prevent it from a major fire. Well, it appears that system was no match for whatever started today's fire. This is the new video tonight of firefighters in Ratner Township doing what they can to save this $5 million mansion. Throughout the evening, dozens of firefighters put out the hot spots of the fire that ripped through this 19-bedroom house and left behind this burned-out shell on Ithan Avenue. I thought it was a bloody shame, actually, because it's such a pretty house. Retired businessman Wayne Lewis owned the six-acre estate in the 70s. As Chopper 6 HD hovered over, he watched the inferno eat away at the roof of his former home. When we moved in, it was really quite nice, and we lived there for several years, and then we finally moved out because it was just a tad big. <laughs> The house is so big, the family living inside didn't even know there was a fire until the alarm system sounded and alerted firefighters around 2.30 p.m. The Canadian renters got out safely with their pets. Firefighters worked for three hours to contain the fire. Just a tough fire. It was in a, a, a slate roof, trying to get through the roof to get to the fire, and the fire was underneath it real heavily. And it's just hard to put out a fire that's, that it contained with that much heat. Current owner Gerald Badoff was trying to sell the French Chateau, which was called Bloomfield Estates. The home with its high ceilings and beautiful ballroom was built in the 1920s by a wealthy Philadelphia industrialist as a wedding present for his daughter. Several decades ago, another fire took out the roof of the mansion. This time, those like Elaine Scherer, who know this historic home, are not confident it will be restored. It's sad. It's another piece of history that's disappearing. We should also mention this house and the property were used in several movies over the years, including a thriller called Safe, which comes out later this month. The fire marshal says he could have a cause of the fire as early as tomorrow. Reporting live here in Radnor Township, Kenneth Moten, Channel 6, Action News. Thank you, Kenneth. We have more Chopper video from the Mainline Mansion fire at our website, 6abc.com. And we invite you to take a look at our popular slideshow of images from the scene.